Welcome to my video blog. It is the last day of May, a month that feels like it has gone on and on and on and on. So, anyway, <clears throat> today is uh, a living and learning blog, but before we get to that, uh, I want to introduce you to uh, my golden bowl for last month. Uh, I hope I had told you, maybe I haven't, that Golden Bowl, we've now, we're now in a financial state where we can bring Golden Bowl back. Uh, and here it is. Isn't that lovely? This is hopefully the first of many lanterns uh, that, I, that I managed to get. But this is one for me, and the little catch opens the door, and you can fit in it either a, a sort of big pillar candle, or you can put uh, smaller sort of tea lights in. And I'm thinking of using that uh, in the winter to enhance my mood center. Uh, and um, yeah, so I'll probably hang it outside from where I have my wind chimes right now if it's not too windy. So there we are. That is going into the Exquisites collection, I hasten to add. As Resurgum, that's what I'm calling it which is Latin for uh, rise again, or rise up, so uh, there we are. Now, the uh, getting to know me uh, uh, this week is uh, focused on something you might find a little bit strange. Um, it's a theme because uh, although these are individual events, there is a current theme that runs through them. And I've included it in this because I feel it's actually very important indeed. There's also been uh, several things that have occurred during them uh, which uh, are also sort of important, I suppose, to mention uh, in this sort of series. So, what is Vintage? Vintage is the name given to a tour which is undertaken uh, deliberately um, as a sort of family get-together if you like and quite often this can you know uh, uh, is not just the nuclear family it can be you know the family uh, the extended family as well the first vintage tour that ever took place that I count as a vintage tour I suppose uh, occurred in 1999 and it was effectively the last family holiday that I had with uh, my two sisters uh, and my mother and my father. And uh, the reason it really counts, not just because it was a sort of the last one, because obviously before then uh, all our family holidays were um, <laughs> together, but because there were several things that were different. That was the first time that I uh, went abroad, in fact. I didn't go far. We only went to the Channel Islands, to Guernsey. Uh, but we did fly. Um, it's also the first time that uh, I encountered what would later be my anxiety disorder, I suppose you could say. That is to say, I had a psychosomatic illness for about a week and a half on Guernsey, uh, which I had never had, never had before, and wouldn't rear its ugly head for another sort of three or four years after that. Nevertheless, looking back, I can see that that is exactly what it was. So we left early in the morning, had a long drive to the airport, flew in a very rickety plane, uh, landed, and then we had uh, our uh, big lunch and went swimming. And after all of that, I felt a little unwell and, strangely enough, was sick. Now, to the normal person, that is a case of having overdone it uh, somewhat in one day. And, of course, uh, there was nothing wrong with me. I had just eaten too much, travelled a little bit too much, and done a little bit uh, too much physical uh, energetics um, after eating a large meal. But uh, to me, it was something very different. And uh, I, I don't know if some of that was because I had been reading a book before then uh, about food poisoning uh, in the sort of weeks before then. Um, or also because I had attended a barbecue on the 
oh, I don't know when it was, maybe two or three days before we left, uh, um, left uh, for the holidays. And it was the first time that I had sort of got it into my head that there was actually something wrong physically. Um, and so instead of feeling better, uh, the next day I still felt bad. And I still felt bad the day after. In a way, it ruined the holiday. Uh, although my parents didn't let me stay in bed because they didn't think there was anything wrong. Um, and in this one instance, even psychosomatically speaking, there wasn't anything wrong. Um, I just felt unwell. Uh, you know, so I was still eating, in fact. Um, so I can't have been that bad, can I? Uh, but that's sort of uh, why it sticks out as being uh, um, the first vintage tour. I think the other thing was that there were some... Obviously I was at that age where I was going through uh, great physical changes, sort of anyway, if you, if you like. Um, and so that's sort of a marker uh, along that road as well. Uh, the second vintage tour uh, was uh, in 2003. It was during my Annus Horribilis and it was during that part where I started feeling better before I got unwell again. Um, this was uh, a, a huge uh, family get-together. It was the largest one I think we've ever had, uh, where we had cousins as well as uh, my parents or my sisters. Um, and I think it was for some uh, big anniversary, although I can't remember exactly what it was. And we all went to this big farmhouse in Filey, uh, and I spent much of the week walking um, and thinking on uh, on the beach around there, in fact, collecting shells and stuff. It was a nice getaway, it was what I needed, and it was really the place where Project Springboard, sorry, not Springboard, Project Wellsprung, was uh, sort of conceived, if you like, and I know I've spoken to you about that already uh, in in the other series, the Living and Learning series, so you can look back uh, and see that if you want. But that was also a major sort of milestone, if you like. Um, and I was able to spend the next couple of months feeling a little bit better. The third vintage tour has just happened. And that was uh, last year when my nan turned 90. And we all went to Devon for a week. And uh, the... That, that's just a, that was just a lovely occasion, I suppose. Um, it's a vintage tour, but I wouldn't say that that necessarily had uh, any huge ramifications like the sort of first two. There is a fourth uh, one planned for later this year, in fact. It's a tenuous plan uh, because, obviously, it will involve uh, the additional members of our family that have appeared <laughs> out of the womb uh, since the last one so not sure exactly how that's going to go down but that is um, that is vintage for you uh, and that is the first of sort of several uh, of these uh, along these themes which are the tour so it's birthday time now and we only have a few uh, so happy birthday to all the following uh, I do hope you eat lots of cake. We have got Josie Picard, Jeff Colmer, Chuck Vincent, Catherine Drakes and James Krause. And that's it for uh, this week's blog.